What's going on? So Milwaukee won last night. Bobby Portis, uh, Chris Middleton, and Patrick Beverly. They beat Indiana. They spanked them last night in Milwaukee. And the refs didn't call no technical against Patrick Beverly because they were all doing the two small sign. The rumors is Giannis and Dane may come back. Now, I was probably one of the few people that gave the Pacers props for getting up 3-1 because you're supposed to take advantage of a depleted team. But at the same time, I'm not sold on them because they don't play no defense. And I know if Brooke Lopez gets some touches with Middleton and Bobby Portis and Beverly can hit, if Giannis and Dane come correct, they can win this series with or without those guys against them. But the problem with the Pacers, the Pacers are like got the Jamison Winston syndrome. They can give you 30 touchdowns. They can give you 30 interceptions. They 30 for 30. And teams like that are not championship caliber. So before anybody ever asks, how good are the Pacers? Well, basically, they're like a farm team to you can make a move to get somebody off of there to make your team better. But I don't see them as a championship team. They didn't really bring it last night. They were flat. They got they, But they got their hats handed to them on the platter. And that's without the two main dudes. So if they put 115 on your butt without Giannis and Dame, you're not that good. You're not championship weather ready. And that tells me that they're more flawed than one thought. That's pretty bad look. That's just with the second crew. So that could be all. If, if, if Milwaukee beats them in Indiana, which I don't know if they can, but if they do beat them, anything could happen in game seven. So if you're Indiana, you better close it out. But I don't have no faith in the team. That was a bad loss last night. And you can't have them kind of losses, especially without the main dudes playing. You can't get ate up like that. Please like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another shit if you like my piece.